Today we're going to talk about how I turned this crap into working saw. Spoiler, if you don't want to stick around to the end and see all this, uh, I didn't use any of this, unfortunately. Um, well, there you have it. So when I got the saw, it was supposed to be 460 or 220 volt. Um, I don't have 460 in my shop, so I figured I would just convert it to 220. I did as much research as I could, and I ended up getting uh, a 220 to 220 um, VFD and a transformer to replace the one that's in there. I got this all set up. I got power into it. And as some will have seen from some of my little things I had, shorts, um, I had it running. Uh, I got most of the stuff working uh, when it was in the test mode on the saw. Uh, the speeds and feeds for the saw blade work the power on off, uh, the e-stop worked, the coolant worked for a little bit and then was shut off, um, and the hydraulic manual lift uh, wasn't working. And then when you went to put it into um, production mode, uh, nothing would work together. Um, so like in test mode you could run the saw blade and the coolant would work uh, for a little bit before it would shut off. Um, when you went into test mode as soon as you, or production mode, as soon as you turn the coolant on, the blade would shut off. Uh, if you tried to do the hydraulic, uh, lower in the hydraulic for the, the head, the blade would shut off. So I did a little more research and I figured, well, Maybe a regular VFD wouldn't work. Uh, so I got a 220 to 220 version of the VFD control that comes with it. Um, they're a little bit different system um, than a regular VFD. It's got more functions. It's made for machinery. Um, I got this one. I got it all set up and it still didn't work nothing was working right um so i ended up removing all of that stuff and put everything back to factory uh the way it was um and that's where i'm at with all that uh but i got the saw running and before you, I show you how I did it, I'll get the saw up and going. And there she is in all her glory, working. Uh, still has a couple of quirks that I can't figure out. Uh, for some reason, the hydraulic lift, uh, it trips the breaker. Um, but other than that, everything works. Nice clean cuts. So to 
fix that, the problem, uh, I ended up going with a transformer, step up transformer, from 223 phase to 463 phase. Um, I had to get a phase converter from 220 single phase to 223 phase and this is the only actual part that I used from the original crap I bought trying to convert it to uh, 220 so that's how I got I ended up getting it running so ultimately I ended up wasting time and about a thousand dollars uh, trying to convert everything to 220 on that machine uh, because I thought it would be easier and cheaper than the transformer, the step-up transformer. Uh, it turns out it wasn't. The step-up transformer ended up being about a thousand dollars. I guess I should do a little bit more research. Uh, Hopefully, my mistakes will help you guys if you end up doing uh, a project like this. Alright, later.